right, Daddy Jack's cool with the blues here. So I'm going way back. I'm going back to 1979 when I moved out to San Francisco. Lived in Burlingame. I worked uh, on the peninsula down there, La Bay Restaurant, right next to the airport, a French restaurant for a year. I just uh, transferred out from Denver, Colorado. I was there. And then uh, the second year I was there, I hooked up with Carlo Galazzo again, who I did my apprenticeship with you know, a few years earlier, and uh, I loved it. It was in the North Beach area. I was at, you know, uh, working at Maxwell's Plum. And I walked into this place, uh, Little Joe's, and it was a counter, counter service, one of the best, beautiful setup restaurants I've ever seen. Counter service, they also had a dining room and a bar, a small place. I had the uh, Joe's Special, which was uh, scrambled eggs with, uh, ground beef and spinach and mushrooms, garlic. But I'm gonna do my, my version of it today with the Arsini's Hot. This is it right here. I get into five pound bags. Triple hot, but it's really not, not crazy hot. But I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful sausage nonetheless. So, um, so it's really a very simple, a simple recipe. Um, put a little bit of olive oil. Okay, we're gonna crack a few eggs. There are two eggs. I like to leave it kind of chunky. So maybe not scramble it up. The original Joe's used ground beef, but I like a little chunk in it. Okay. And then, uh, of course, I like a little extra garlic. We get a little bit of an onion. This is really one of my favorite all time breakfasts. So, you know, again, don't, you know, don't kind of mix it up, don't mash it up, just let it. Let it cook, uh, like the teacher says, organically. We'll let it cook. Here are our mushrooms, baby portobellos. Use your finger as a guide. So watch this now, Lakeisha. Look up here. See? Get it. Okay, mm -hmm. so we'll throw these in there. I'm just gonna let that go on top because once we start mixing the mushrooms, then we're gonna add add some water into it. The sizzle, baby. Original Joe's, they say, didn't really brown and brown the meat up, but I. You know what? That caramelization, a little bit extra, a little bit extra uh, sear to it, to me adds flavor. There's a little bit of, a little bit of salt. We're gonna be careful. We're gonna check that at the end. Okay. I got a beautiful, some beautiful spinach here, local, and uh, I like, I like the stems. So they take a little bit longer to cook. I'm gonna put them in first. Okay. Look what I have today. I have a special guest. Mr. Green Onion. Look at this. It's been a while. Well, that's going. We're going to get our plate ready. Get our tomato. 
Mr. Axel wants to come in. Nice, nice tomatoes right out of the garden. Yes, Axel, be right there. Come on. Come on. Mr. In and Out. Get our green onions ready for the garnish. We'll scramble the eggs. We'll turn our fire down. We'll take it right off the fire. I love cast iron. See, even with egg, doesn't stick. You want more of an egg, you know, more egg. I kind of want to get less egg, it's more around lunchtime. But uh, it's kind of at the last, last of my Parmesan. So, but always important to use up what you have left. Because then I brought some fresh from the restaurant. And don't mix, don't mix the new over the old. Yeah, so this is it, it's ready. Yeah, beautiful, let's give it up. We'll plate it up. I say, well, you could add up to another three or four eggs up in here. A little bit fresh. Tomatoes always need a little bit extra salt. Axel in the background. A little bit of green onion. That's it. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Then we need to slide over here. Excuse me, Axel. Mm. At Arsini's is the best. They don't really like to ship during the summer. The warmer months, but it definitely order some up for your holidays. You know, stu stuffing for a turkey or for some Sunday gravy, meat sauce. Uh, so great. Mm. Some of that good uh, Italian bread, toasted up. Mmm. See, I like it browned up, the nice chunks of the hot sausage. Mm hmm Try one of these garden-ripe tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Beautiful for brunch, lunch. Axel, come here, buddy. Come on. Take a seat now. Take a seat. You been a good boy? We'll get you some. But anyway, we're having a good time here. We're in the fall, and uh, we had some cool weather. We've had 28, day, 28 days in, uh, in June or July at 90, over 90, and some of there in the mid-90s. It's been a real hot summer. For us up here, a heat wave is like three days in the 90s. So uh, now what uh, yesterday, uh, it hit it was 70 in the 70s in the morning. Unbelievable. This morning I got out on my front porch, had to put a sweater on. So this is my kind of weather here, this uh, weather coming up here in New England. But um, if, you, if you'd like to join us on uh, Cooking with the Blues on Patreon, it's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Cooking with the Blues. We have some exciting things going on. We're doing a lot of Q&A. We're starting to do some Zoom Q&A sessions. Uh, doing an audio blog for my uh, cookbook. Um, some merchandise were exclusive to Patreon and uh, some live video streams and uh, exclusive content up onto 
uh, Patreon. So it's uh, patreon.com slash cooking with the blues. We wish you all the best. If you like our videos, please share them, you know, on your, on your social media. Uh, we, we'd really appreciate it. We just get the word out a little bit, but we're, we're so excited about, you know, uh, we reopened a restaurant here a few days ago, the bar and, uh, a distant seating and some outside seating. And then another couple of weeks, we're going to open up some of the dining room and we're, we're blessed with all your support. Peace. Come on, Lakeisha. Time for you to get in on this. Titus. All right, I can't, you know, I can't talk about, you know, San Francisco and all the great memories I had down there and just along the marina and the, just being with the Golden Gate Bridge and, you know, down in Half Moon Bay and Axel. Come here. But I, also, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Daniel King. Uh, he writes for uh, Mother Jones Magazine and he came through um, almost a couple years ago, maybe. He was in New York and took a special trip down. And uh, he's really uh, unbelievable. He's obviously really pays attention. And I guess as a journalist, uh, a photojournalist, and he uh, you know knew all about, you know, asking all these. He was a real aficionado of the uh, Cooking with the Blues recipes and, and uh, became a really good friend. And, uh, you know, just uh, I wish, you know, with all going on in California, all of the fire and the redwoods and you know um but you know just have so many fond memories and such great people out there such great weather and uh daniel that's from lakeisha me and axel call axel over there see axel axel see he says hi he misses you here too uh daniel <laughs> all right peace all right so i just wanted to show you how you know i clean i clean my cast irons you know just and really any skillet for that matter you know just, uh, you know, put it back on the stove. And really, you know, as soon as you're cooking, dump, you know, dump off the grease if you can save any of your grease. And, uh, you know, save your bacon grease, chicken, chicken fat, whatever. And, but, but, you know, just give it a good scraping. And with a wooden spoon. Loosen up all the scraps. That's the beauty about cast iron, you know, it cleans up so good. <clears throat> so, you know, sometimes if you even want to get crazy about it, you know, save this water and mix it in with your dog food or, but anyway, I'm going to go down the drain with it. And then, uh, there's a sponge. Put it back on the heat. I usually take a take a paper towel. Make sure make sure it dries up all good. The bottom too, so it's got some water on it. Make sure all the water, top and bottom, is good, dried. That's it. Go for the next go around. No need to scrub hard, you know, with a metal abrasive. But still, you know, you can't scrub it with hard because next time you just put a little bit more oil in there. If you about cast iron, it kind of reseals itself. That's it. Quick tip for the day. We march all the way around the church, depending how the spirit was moving. Mm. Wah, 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 wah.